over here a little bit if something important comes up, but I'm mostly gonna kind of just go through and I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna ask the question mostly that I ask everyone else to ask when they say, how should I watch videos? And I usually tell them what you wanna do is you wanna look for a hit and then try and figure out why the hit happened. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. Um, <laughs> thank you, Nas. And so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and kind of mess around, wait for a hit, kind of talk about that. And, um, you know, top player matches are kind of difficult to analyze because there's so much very specific analysis that goes into it. Like, Mango knows so much of what HBox is gonna do, and HBox knows so much of what Mango is gonna do. So, like, little flubs can get punished harder than they might normally. And, um, and like, weird things that maybe shouldn't work do work. So yeah, it's your boy Shu. Thanks for the sub. Welcome to your nation, gang. Will this be on the test? <laughs> no. I mean, you can watch the video back later. It's uh, be a pretty easy test. So yeah. Um, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna uh, get going, and we're gonna kind of see all these hits happen and what goes on. So here we go. So HBox is. So I want to kind of talk about, I mean, I want to, I kind of want to talk about that Nair too a little bit, but I want to talk about these late, so that first, so like, HBox is so good at jumping around lasers, and so you can see like a second before that happened. So HBox is like right there, he sees Mango do this laser as he's wave dashing, and he probably knows because Mango's too far away to do anything else. Like if he comes in, um, if Mango like did a full hop in or something, it'd be an easy dodge. And then if Mango will probably just laser from here because he's too far away to really threaten. So Mango could just Mango will just like shoot these lasers. So HBox is jumping to dodge these. And you might be like, oh yeah, well whatever. But dodging these lasers is such a valuable percent since Puff um, at least can die really early up there, up air, jab up, smash, all that good stuff. So. I mean, percent matters in every matchup, obviously, but the extent to which HBox can weave around them is, is pretty good, and, you know, it's kind of on the foxes to do really weird kind of lasers and everything to get an advantage out of it. So, here, well, whatever, I'm just going to wait for hits. I shouldn't try to go over everything. Uh, so, let's talk about that shine grab, then. So Mango is, Mango's been running and doing a lot of full hops the last couple times. HBox has been around a platform, so HBox probably just felt it was better to stay in shield um, after the roll here. And also because, you know, if he if he jumps into like Mango's short hop near, which Mango did in the beginning, then he could eat way more damage than just like an up throw up air. So the shield, decent decision on HBox's part, Mango calls it out, tries to cover it with the shine grab. Shine in case HBox jumps or something and, you know, just makes the grab safer. If he hits the shine, then you know, he probably wasn't going to get a follow-up anyway. Get up there. Mango going... Mango hoping HBox would jump, I guess. Let's go to that back air, actually. Let's go to that back air. So this right here. I know I'm gonna need to like start speeding it up pretty soon, but I think getting some of the basic stuff down early is pretty important. So we can see HBox land and Mango's already running in earlier. And HBox, since Puff has, you know, so many jumps she can afford to kind of just run off the level with them a lot. And this is kind of why Mango will run in and full hop so much because he's trying to catch HBox like jumping out. Well, you can't see my mouse, I think. He's jumping out um, to the top left. But HBox is just going to go straight to the left and back air. And he's okay with that trade because um, the closer Puff gets to knockdown percent on Bear, which is like around 40%, the better off he can be and he can start comboing and everything. Of course, he gets a grab around now. It's great, but you can't always rely on that. So Mango does hit those lasers. Um, HBox, I guess, did a panic jump, or Mango did some good lasers. So 
So I want, let's talk about. So Mango hits HBox coming off a platform, moving out, moving back in. HBox, um, not too sure where to go. Ends up going back to the platform. Mango hits him again, and that was really cool because HBox did. Um, he just did that that ground tech. Hold on. So here they're both kind of in lag, and HBox is thinking about the up smash right here. So he wants, so he's gonna want to shield. Oh, he's just spot dodge. I guess he's, guess he's worrying about uh, grab, or he's just being kind of nervous. I don't know. And then he shields, and Mango, you know, wanted to kind of catch, wanted Mango or HBox's shield to shrink probably, which is why he jumped through. And if HBox jumped away, um, Mango could have uh, followed that potentially. Although I think he would have got bared if HBox ran off and came back on with a bear. Um, but anyway, he gets the shield poke up air. HBox might have jumped, I don't know. Or he just, you know, puff shield. Got him. Kill. So Mango is moving in and out really well. And um, he's uh, he's catching where HBox is wanting to go, which is often to the platform. But if HBox is going onto the ground, Mango's okay with moving back out and observing where he goes. Kind of like when he's moving out and doing a laser sometimes, as you'll see. That shine was crazy. Mm -hmm. And so Mango tried to shine HBox's fair there. Um, he's just trying to do a lot of really difficult stuff. Okay, so again, you see Mango backing up here. Um, he wants to kind of see what HBox is going to do, and if HBox is always throwing out an aerial like this, then uh, Mango's free to, you know, oftentimes come back in. But he looks like he kind of wants to wait a little bit more, see what HBox is doing, and HBox actually comes in. And we haven't seen HBox come in too much yet, but now you if you look what happened right before that, Mango's at 50%. So it's more likely that HBox is gonna try and come in if he thinks he can hit that bear. So just again, the percent's important to keep in mind. HBox tries for that jump. Oh, crazy. <laughs> you know, Puff on the ground has a lot of slow options, so uh, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about all the stuff because I feel like HBox kind of like this is kind of a puff thing, is just to make people panic in situations where puff has advantage, but it's not like really strong. So Mango lasers and then comes in, and HBox kind of just waits, and it's like a pretty easy interception for him because he's saying, okay, Mango's taking a second, and then coming in, and then Mango does a good short, and he's because he could have gone to the platform as well. HBox goes high, trying to cover Mango going on the platform, Mango nears. And then Puff being right above Fox beats that uh, back air. So, you know, you want back air to be at an angle. And then Mango nears out of the corner. So again, you can kind of see that Mango is making very quick actions to get out of pressure a lot. HBox is kind of just fading back, letting him come in. Gets the dare, tries to jab, H Mango gets away. And now Mango's kind of reset. And HBox actually tries to turn around there when that grab happens. He tries to get away from this. So you can see it right there. So you can see he lands. I guess he wanted to like jump or maybe he just wanted to dash and probably dash into bear. But yeah, he just kind of sits there, yoink, and he dies. Doesn't quite get the SDI, Mango does a good up air. So yeah, so far we're seeing that uh, Mango's getting more off of his openings. Um, he's he's been able to corner HBox better, he's been able to kill HBox better. HBox has had Mango off the stage, hasn't been able to kill him, often isn't edge trapping him super great or is just guessing wrong. Um, Mango's playing around HBox's shield better than the other way around. HBox going deep, trying to get this kill. Moving around the lasers. So, HBox basically just set himself up to go over Mango there. And again, that's kind of what we were talking about before. So, Mango's kind of guessing if HBox will fade away towards the edge or go over him. And HBox is trying to play the same game, and HBox is willing to gamble on going over Mango, especially right now, because uh, trades are more okay if you can get the edge guard. So he's got him cornered, tries to get the bear. 
puff jump squat. But yeah, I guess let's talk about that. So Hbox actually does an F tilt. He tries to probably dash attack there, which would have worked. Mango nares. Hbox tries to dash away with uh, coming out of lag. He wave dashes under the grab or away from the grab, however you like to see it, and he gets the F smash. So Hbox hits a lot of wave dash F smash on stuff like grabs or you know jabs or full hops, and um, Hbox doesn't wave dash a whole lot um, around. Like he'll wave dash down on the platform and things like that, but. He usually doesn't wave dash, I guess, around a lot. So whenever he does it, especially out of shield, it, it can be kind of surprising. He's like, as I mean, you see him roll and spot dodge a lot too. So it's kind of just one of those mix-ups. And when he's ready to try and get a kill, you know, you're obviously more likely to see the F smash. Hbox avoiding the invincibility, using a lot of jumps. Going over. Shielding lasers. Mango, we can see. So Mango had a good idea there. Hbox is probably about to mess him up, actually. Let's see. Nope. This is the edge guard. So Mango, you know, staying more space this time. Lasering. He's faking. Hbox back airs. Mango decides not to commit. Hbox is also pretty high up, and Mango's been keep. He keeps getting hit by the nair, so he's gonna wait. Now he tries to go, and um. I guess he kind of fakes going in again. Hbox moves right past him. And now Mango decides to commit after Hbox comes all the way down. He says he's just going to wait for Hbox. And then he gets the Nair, but it's a weak hit. Hbox holds down because he's wave dashing. Grab. Up there. Good. But you can't combo out of that percent. I guess you just need to double jump. All right, hold on. Let me see. Just making sure everyone's getting a lot out of this. All right. That was kind of weird. So that that jump was pretty cool. Yeah, I know I can use comma and all that, but sometimes I want to go back. Like I'd have to like keep hitting the button for a while. So kind of like so Mango's on the edge. We saw that Hbox was trying to cover the um, platform before it didn't work. So Hbox jumps, he's ready to avoid the invincibility if he's on the platform or if he's on the ground. And he waits, and Mango then either goes too far or he shield drops or whatever, and Hbox then does a back here. So it was a good wait on Hbox's part, not doing anything preemptive this time. And setting himself up well, Mango, you know, still coming off the edge immediately. Yep, Hbox walked away before that F smash, so you gotta be you got to pay attention to those sort of things, although, of course, it can be a fake. Yeah, Hbox weaved too far for one direction. So Mango was, he wave dashed in and wave dashed out, hope Hbox would, um, would come in, Hbox just fades to the edge. Hbox hasn't gone to edge so much. Hbox missing the re-grab. Outspacing, oh, what is this? Oh, Hbox, again, let's talk, let's talk about... All these drops. Gets to edge. Gets the grab. Gets the jump. Misses the grab. I assume that was supposed to be a jump cancel. Mango, I guess, is still trying to get away. That's why you see that full hop. And now he's trying to get the grab. Hbox also tries. Some confusion happens. Grab. Up air. Up air. All right, so this is good. You know, now here you can do like, you know, a lot of things. You could rest, probably. You could F smash. You could dash attack. You could let him fall and then jab reset, I guess. But he just like up smashes. I think he just he tried to jump and um, and up air too quickly, so he got an up smash instead. But yeah, Hbox has been uh, dropping a decent amount, and Mango um, when you know we saw that earlier when Hbox was getting stocks that Mango would run back in. Yep, there's the there's the wave dash. Hbox wanted to get it get the finish, and Mango jump full hopped out last time. I like that wave dash back here. Let's look at that. So that's cool. It's a good threaten. Use your invincibility. And he does the wave dash in back here again because you jump out of it, keeps your momentum. Now Hbox could get killed by a back here if he so he almost gets it there. And Mango will honestly take that trade. Hbox doing the F smash a little too much, but 
Um, now Mango's closer to knockdown percent, so it is a little worrying. So let's look at that again. So HBox hits like a high bear or something. Oh, whatever. So Mango hits him. HBox looks like he should be able to hit him out of it, but he cannot. So that's the tricky thing, I think, is Mango hit HBox from 0 to 13. Mango was able to get a shield up in time because it's an auto cancel back air. Does a high back air on shield and tries to wave dash away, still gets shined. Spot dodge because, you know, HBox usually spot dodging in those situations. Mango backing up, coming in. Backing up. He lasers, then waits and does it. So we can see Mango being a little more patient here. And so that, so that extra patience, let's look at that one more time. That extra patience is uh, paying off, even if it's just a little bit, even if it's just for a moment. So you see the laser, he stops. He stops and then does that. So he's waiting, lasers, then he goes into something. So the waiting and lasers is really important. And then also he's just waiting for those spot dodges a lot too. And he's still getting the grabs. That grab was crazy. So again, got his jump back. And so that should have been a kill right there. Mango should be dead. Should be dead again. And now he gets him. So uh, HBox gets Mango. Mango had a lot of good angles and all that stuff. Um, I'm sure the crowd's popping off. Crab guy, very excited. All right. So let's see. Now we got Yoshi's good counter pick because he can do that. <laughs> let's look at that again. Oh, interesting shield poke. He gets the laser. Hbox is just trying to keep Mango out. This position here, not so good for Hbox. You don't want to be right below Fox because he can up air. Or he can get in position to back air. Now, if you want to be, if if you are right above Fox, then you know you obviously want that nair like I was talking about earlier. But um, he's in lag right now, so that's not great. So Mango kind of looks like he wants to punish it, but he can't quite get there. Hbox lands, shields, poke, somehow, really weird poke. Hbox falls, tex, grab. So this, the whole thing's weird, and the Hbox SDIing up on the up air actually gets him killed from the other one. If he just SDI'd up until the right, he wouldn't have died. But he was just like, I gotta live, bro. And that was just not the way to be. Sometimes you just gotta take the damage if you're the, you know, that can happen, I guess. But whatever, stock down. Good job, Mango. So he gets the Nair, but the damage is too low. Good up air. Uh, catches Mango. So let's look at Hbox moving back and forth there. Uh, so goes away, hits him, goes in, goes away, moves back in. Probably tries to trick Mango, but I mean, it's like a little lay Mango had already decided. So then he's like, oh, gotta get out of the way. Here it comes. So he tries to get the pressure, fades away for safety, and now... Moves in, lands, up tilts. That was good because he's usually coming down with aerials. A lot of people want to jump out of shield. They don't want to get grabbed. Oh, let's look at how he got that grab. Hbox wasn't ready for that full hop. He's putting out. A, Hbox put out a fair right before he landed. I guess he meant to jump. So now he's in lag. He gets hit. So yeah, Hbox got hit because he uh, did a fair before he landed. Shouldn't have done that. Mango capitalizes very well. Mango moving in and out pretty well. Shielding, moving out of shield. Very fast out of shield right there. That's what you need to do. So he, tr he gets away from the jab, so he can't get grabbed there. Does it again with the Nair. Shine. So you get the shine, you don't get much of a follow-up, so that's kind of a shame, given how good that wave dash was. But you can see he wants to follow it. Hbox misses his double jump again. Oh, shield drop air. Cool. Oh, and Mango tries to dash through, trying to bait another spot dodge. Hbox doesn't let him get him killed. So going over Mango, as we talked about before, the angles are really important and the drift is important. So when you're going for that, so when you see this right here, Fox is looking to accelerate upward quickly and Puff is looking to accelerate to the side quickly and get over. So it's kind of like... If you think you can get over Fox before he can get to you, or Fox goes, if I think I can get beside or at an angle to puff faster than she can get over me, then that's the position I want to go for. So they're always kind of jockeying in that really weird diagonal space. And Mango wave dashes and then jumps, so he goes way too far. He expects Agebox to fade back because he's at higher percent, probably. He just misses the Edgar, down here the wrong way. 
Shield drops with no aerial. Mango does a safe back air, kills him. Good stuff. Hbox trying to get away after he gets hit. Mango chasing him with the full hop. Let's look at that Nair, because that was cool. Tries to get the up air. So he, Mango's, Hbox hoping Mango comes in. Pulls back. Hbox wave dashes back. Grab. Mango standing in place, confirming. Now he comes in. Hbox spot dodge, because, you know, he's in lag. Mango, I think, meant to shine. Missed it. Um, nearly catches that roll. Hbox barely getting away. Does that back air he did before. Goes to the platform. Mango immediately ready for it. Knows Hbox can't get away too easily this time. Uh, Hbox misses the edge guard, finally gets it. Oh, move, coming in, moving away. Mango faking, attacking the platform now, moving away. Hbox gets him with the pound. Pound is uh, if you, you know, kind of need to get out of jail free card sometimes. Can still knock down even at really low percents. Hbox looked like he died really early there. Lands, shields, so Mango just says, all right, well, I don't think you're going to spot dodge this time or if you you would have done it already. And, yeah, I feel like that should, that one should have been SDI-able. Um, but, I mean, I guess Hbox might have been worried about his SDI on the first stock. So, yep. And the taunt, the rare Mango taunt. You know, he's trying to bop this guy. Everyone's popping off. All right, so now we're on Dream Lance. This is Hbox's counter pick, so he's going to have more room to back up. Let's kind of back up. So we have more we have more room to um, Hbox. So the reason he picks this level a lot is he wants to like have space to breathe. The platforms are very long, high off the ground, so it's very hard to cover them. Whereas on Yoshi's they're small. Obviously he lives longer too. And if he's edge guarding okay, then it should be all right. Sometimes his combos can get broken by the platforms as well, so it's not always a good thing, but. I think Hbox prefers to grind out his opponents, and Dreamland's pretty much the best level for that. Hbox tries to jump to avoid the grab, gets nared. Good nair. Ooh. Mango going in for the shine, a little preemptive. Um, thought Hbox would land, then moves out. He says, okay, I don't want to deal with this. I'm going to give Hbox some damage. Hbox comes in with the up air this time. Mango Shine would have worked here. Mango doesn't hold down, gets up thrown, and you know the rest. Mango opting to wait. He doesn't want to lose another stock really quickly, probably. He wants to get some damage. Mango goes behind with the back air, trades him down air. Good trade. Hbox with the pound. You'll see that more at low percent. Mango landing some crucial lasers. I think that could have killed. Hbox barely getting out of the way of all this assault. So yeah, again, Mango is really, he keeps on saying, you know, Hbox is like gonna wave dash and do something or he's gonna jump and do something. So, and then in the meantime, and if he's wrong, he just goes and shoots some lasers or he gets like, he wants Hbox to think, okay, well, when I'm close, I can either go back and shoot some lasers and get free damage or I could just wait and come in. So he waits, moves back, comes in. Hbox goes for the up air. He hopes Mango runs in. Mango dodges that back air. Hbox trying to get some damage. So again, these guys are these guys are having a bit of a prediction about what the other person is going to do right before it happens, and they keep making decisions that are uh, you know barely whiffing, that are covering very specific stuff, and are keeping them still, themselves relatively safe. Hbox again has to spot dodge, grab lag, um, tries to jump, gets jabbed. You know he edi'd, so he went high. And he goes for the up smash anyway. Okay, well, looks like he should be dead. Yeah, so let's look at how that happened. That up air. Yeah, so this back air was, I think he was hoping Hbox would throw out a move, but he did it a bit early. Hbox actually lands and doesn't get his back air out right either. He goes shields. Hbox up airs away, and this is because he wants to catch a jump out of shield, which he does get. Back air. So you can up air, full hop up here, back air. And then. 
he hbox does a quick nair after landing mango wants to go over hbox's head if you look right before that so hbox lands wave dashes jumps and he's coming down so mango probably feels pretty good about this but hbox is able to land get this up again because fox's side b takes a moment to come out bam bam jiggles Hey, he gets it. All right, so, so far we can see that um, drawing things out has benefited HBox here. Um, not really surprised anyone, I think, especially against Mango. Uh, Mango not willing to play the long camp game. HBox has more room to dodge. So you could, you could say this, and these are also, they're also, you know, that last stock, um, you saw a lot of very small, very, very small, or at least like kind of small um, mistakes from Mango, or just like, um, I guess misguesses or something, however you want to say it, and he gets punished for it, and that's kind of just like how high level is. Sometimes you have a pretty good idea and it just doesn't work out. Yeah, so Puff Invincibility, really easy to dodge. He just shielded and jumped. Hbox couldn't catch him. Full hop, hopes Hbox drifts in. Hbox drifts out. Hbox lands with Bear. Mango knows the lag, goes in. I think he could have got grabbed. Hbox just spot dodge, or you know he does try to grab. He gets shined. Spot dodges. Mango just um, you know giving him little hits. Oh, there's the nair. It actually hit Fox's uh, back here in a really cool way. It looked like. So, so Mango in this position, he's if he goes to the right a little bit, he can hit this back air. So that's what you see he tries to do. H and then he he uh, double jumps back into the point right below HBox, and HBox times that really well. So again, very small thing, but the 12% um, makes pound scarier, grab scarier, and so on. Backs up lasers. Ooh, tech flub. Mango going in a little more now. Those lasers going in. He's moving into the aggression. HBox chases him down. HBox didn't want to rest out of shield, but gets this one. So he could have done that. But yeah, Mango tries to, I think, shield or something out of out of that dare. I don't think that dare should have worked. I think Mango could have just, like, held um, uh, spot dodge or roll or something, buffered it. But yeah, I mean, you can kind of tell that Mango's just kind of like whatever. He doesn't like, yeah. He, he was kind of done with the match. <laughs> but, uh, you know, sometimes you don't want to give your opponent more momentum. Just let it go. Uh, that's how Mango thinks about this stuff a lot. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, uh, save your energy for the other games. Just how everyone wants to do things. All right, so now on Stadium, there's a lot of room on the ground, but the platforms are very small. Ceiling, pretty small, and the transformations get higher up so you can get even earlier kills. So HBox wants to you know, use a lot of the ground space to back up if he can, and uh, he'll still want to use the platform some, but he'll probably want to go backwards off them more so that Mango can't get under him. Um, and cover the whole platform with like a full hop nair or whatever so easily. Hbox jumping right out of the way. So let's look at those two dodges, even though he didn't get anything off of it. Oh, so slow. Mango backing up, gets hit. Um, with Hbox gets the nair, decides to back up because he can't really get a follow up a lot of time. Mango moves in. Hbox doing the dare, wouldn't be able to get a follow up. Mango full hopping, Hbox reacting, wave dashing away. Yeah, look. Um, but Hbox just kind of holds down. He's kind of hoping for this back here, and Mango wants to catch the jump. So this is something we haven't uh, we haven't seen Hbox do yet this set. And then he goes for some really weird <laughs> rest, could just up here, but then he dies. And you know, some people are like, oh well, you know. Um, you know, Hbox doesn't miss that against other players, and he misses it against Mango. And I think, you know, that's a that's a valid point. Like, when Mango's putting so much pressure on you, and also kind of just when you're so deep in this uh, tournament, and you know, like these results matter a lot, you can start thinking about you. All the every action has more pressure added to it. So, um, you know, when I'm talking about someone making a mistake or something, sometimes it's just the other person playing good and putting pressure on them. And sometimes it is just them not being as efficient as they could be. And 
I'm not really trying to tell you which is which for this. I'm just telling you when people make mistakes and stuff. It's the fair. Mango tries to run out. Then he tries to shield H-Box. Slowing Mango down a little bit there. Again, trying to slow Mango down. And now he's got the knockdown percent. But Mango gets the grab. H-Box tries to wave dash in. Mango sees it coming. Moves back. Oh, that weird... That weird hit. Uh, good angle, misses the edge dash, and this is kind of why we're seeing on Battlefield we saw Mango do more of the uh, platform wave lands, although he did edge dash as well. Um, but yeah, unfortunate, that's kind of just the price of playing Fox, or playing Fox. Gets one of the lasers, H-Box using some jumps to stay away. Mango trying to catch H-Box, jumping away, going to the platform, back airing. And, you know, that's why that's why Mango hits these nares so much. He goes for these nares. Because you could just get so much out of them. So so that that one, you know, he started at like 43% or something. And now he's just, um, you know, you do nair up air. And even if it doesn't kill, like, now that's like a jab up smash or an up throw up air away or whatever. So, yeah. Do you want to landing? That's why people nair a fox so much. But, you know, Mango's been doing good about, like, doing these flop back airs and mixing with lasers and... Running in with grab, he's, uh, you know, you don't want to just nair a whole lot, especially since Puff can just hold down, as we saw in the beginning with that, and that actually slowed down Mango's nair game a lot. Going for some crazy up air. Uh, I think HBox, that second jab was supposed to be a grab. I think it would have worked. Oh, that fair beat HBox is back here. That was weird. HBox doesn't like the rock. I don't blame him. The rock is really stupid for Fox. Um... And Mango says, yeah, I don't really want to get back thrown, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to take my 2%. That was a really low laser. Doing that down tilt thing. I actually don't know if that down tilt hits because of the, the, the edge, the little part that sticks up there. So HBox, yeah, so HBox went a little too high trying to intercept what he thought would be Mango's back air. Um, but yeah, uses a bunch of jumps, able to get back. Mango going for some crazy up smash. H-Box going for some crazy read. Mango going for the up air. Works out for Mango. Hmm. Let's look at that again. Shielding the back air. Trying to get away. So again, we see Mango chasing a wave dash down out of shield. This is how he got um, crouch um, grabbed last time. But H-Box wave dashes again. Turns around, grabs. Does... It messes up, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Mango's out of there. Trying to slow things down. Comes back in. H-Box has gone over Mango's jumps a little bit in this set. Or this game, anyway. Oh, H-Box was slow on that forward smash. That would have worked. I don't know if it, I don't know how Mango would have DI'd, obviously. Oh, misses the grab. Gets it. Yeah, from a bit far away. Uh, Mango, again, Mango's trying to catch these jumps out of shield. Doesn't want HBox to just start getting away. Good angle. Misses the edge dash. So that's a few times that's happened now. Um, good nair out of shield. Didn't try to shine. A lot of people try to shine Puff out of that. Or, you know, shine's not the best thing ever on Puff shield. Oh, he didn't up air. If he did a fair, that would have hit. So it does this nair, and then he doesn't shine. He dashes. So this allows him to, like, kind of cut the dash, chase HBox down. So even though he misses, like... You don't always need to shine on shield, especially people who are conditioned to expect it. <laughs> Grabbing a billion times and trying to mix it up gets fared. But uh, always close, and that's just how the frames work out, I guess. HBox weaving back at the last second with that fair, baits the grab, gets his own grab. And HBox tries to act like he's going to come out. Mango has to kind of side B and guess. HBox weaves back in. Puff. Mango kind of waiting for HBox to use his jumps. Trying to snipe. Ooh, so that's he hitting, hitting even a full hop nair can kind of lead to up air sometimes. Yep, so Mango moved out, moved back in with the up smash twice when he was close. HBox has to guess what'll happen. And he handled that well because he hadn't really been doing that for quite a while, so that was a good mix up. Missed the L cancel on that back air, and now, oh, gets back. HBox missing. Oh, good shorten. Missed the edge dash. Good shine grab. Missing. Okay, so he comes in, forces HBox back. That was good. 
Uh, Mango uh, hoping or thinking what HBox will weave back a good bit there. Teching in. Oh, just ups, just do it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Let's see. Oh wow, how did he get that grab? That was a good grab. This nair, and he waves back so, so Mango can see it coming. This full hop fair trying to cover jumps and uh, it'll auto cancel. Lands with a back air, but Mango just stays there. So that's how he gets it. Mango doesn't bite on HBox's uh, fair back air, and HBox puts himself in lag. Good play by Mango. Oh, a good SDI. That oh, was a good up air, I think. Oh, really good back air. So Mango landing close to the edge like that makes it really hard to dodge. HBox just grabbing on up air. Not safe. <laughs> Missing the edge dash. Getting bared. Oh, good angle, um, but HBox kind of ready 